Hello, water signs. How are you all doing? I'm here to do your May reading for the first two weeks of 2019. Um, we're going to take a look into the cards, see what's in store for my water signs. So this is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you have water in any of your placements in those areas, this reading could be for you. If it doesn't resonate, please let it go. It wasn't meant for you. Uh, just let it go. Uh, however, if uh, you do resonate with this, please um, like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff. It really helps support me. And I want to thank all of you who've been supporting me um, and my channel. I appreciate it so much. It really helps me and I appreciate um, the love so much. Uh, if you guys need your own personal reading, all that information is in the description below. Coaching, tarot, combos, all that stuff. And uh, guys, let's just jump right into your reading and find out what's inside uh, what's in store for uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for the first two weeks of May? Okay, we're going to take a look into the sacred geometry cards and see what some of the crowning energies, the governing energies of this reading are, what we need to be paying attention to, what's kind of crowning this spread. What do my water signs need to know? Too many cards. There we go. Oh, gosh. Earth signs got this last month. You guys have magic. I love this one. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. Oh, so many of you are growing and expanding right now. There is this energy of expansion, this energy of moving yourself into possibilities and areas that you have yet to um, move into. Um, this uh, idea of magic is that anything is possible. Uh, it's got a very um, kind of elemental kind of feel to it and ooh, and we have crown chakra the frequency of the crown the violet flower of life supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light so some of you are working through some darker things um, and being able to transmute those into um energies that are supportive of who you are right now um the this um, expansion is, is, is coming through. It's a very spiritual um, expansion process that you guys are going through. Uh, there is a lot kind of coming through your crown, um, through your intuitive abilities at this time. You are being, <coughs> excuse me, you're being strongly guided, strongly guided at this time. Um, and many of you know it, I heard. Okay, let, let's um, take a look into the um, my fairy oracle. I want to pick one card here. I know I didn't do this for you guys last time. It feels so bad. So um, there we go. Oh, we have Arval Parrot. So this little fairy... So, okay, I'm, I'm being pulled to like the kind of energy that's kind of around the point here of the head. So like there's some energy. It's almost like it's almost like your crown energy is zeroing in on something like you're spiritually zeroing in on something or you're intuitively zeroing in on something. But also um, your throat chakra is lighting up here. Your um, communication is very important at this time. There's a level of communication, oh, between the throat and some of you are channeling. Some of you are channeling. Um, communication is very necessary during this time for you. Um, some of you are channeling, but also it's important for you in the expansion process of whatever you're going through. Um, let me just take a look um, in the book and just see if there's an extra message here 
for you. I just want to see if there's something else. Um, <clears throat> yeah, communication is the main theme of this card. Um, clear communications are vitally important here. Strive for verbal brilliance. Listen carefully, be articulate, be willing to calmly debate the issues and explore ideas with others. Open communication will enhance the chances of success all around. Also, pay attention to people's body language when you're communicating with them. You're going to receive more information through their body language with you than um, uh, necessarily what they're saying. Also, look for um, incomplete sentences and um, unfinished thoughts. Those will be clues for you. So um, you may be, there may be some sort of challenging aspect here with someone else in your life um, that is of, of a very deep spiritual nature. It's calling in this aspect of wanting you to kind of really expand into um, beyond uh, what you're used to. And it has something to do with communication here too. Now communication spiritually, what you're receiving, but also how you're expressing yourself and how you communicate with others. Um, yeah, that's kind of like the main message there. So let's look into the tarot and find out what other, um, what messages do we have for water signs at this time? What messages do you have for water signs? Oh gosh. <laughs> so this deck um, has four extra cards and um, you guys got the Palace of Swords. No kidding. Uh, this is all about communication. Um, communicating, uh, okay. So the Palace of Swords is the place where the king, the queen, the knight and the page all reside. And um, so the energy right now around this is all about truth. It's all about clarity. It's all about communication, communicating your truth, getting to the heart and the truth of the matter I just heard. Um, this is the environment that you find yourself in for the first two weeks of May. Um, how so interesting that the, those two just came up together. It's so supportive. I love it when that happens. Um, yes, many of you are on a quest of truth right now. Um, and that's why you're um, expanding yourself because the truth is is never just one thing and it's never just one point it's everything and so you're really wanting to I'm feeling that for many of you out there you water signs that there's this element of um, really wanting to uh, put yourself to the test in a sense of like expanding like how far can you go with this where can you reach to like you're going to new depths when it comes to your truth okay what other messages do we have for water signs sun moon rising and venus what else do they need to know at this current time for the first two weeks of may Okay, so you have the um, Seven of Cups in reverse. So the Seven of Cups upright is all about um, having a lot of choices. Sometimes the there's too many choices. Um, the Cups of Illusion, like things aren't clear, but it's in reverse. And when the Seven of Cups is in reverse, for this particular reading right now, what I'm feeling is that you guys, again, it's a zeroing in. I'm feeling like you're really zeroing in on what you need to do, what needs to be done right now. It's like this pointiness energy. I don't know why I'm they're pulling me to that, but I guess there's some there's some level here of you guys like knowing exactly which cup you want. You know where you know where your truth lies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just heard some of you just not wanting to put up with the bullshit anymore. So I, pardon me, my language, but that's just what came through. Um, you're tired of the bullshit. Uh, and that's why the palace of swords here in the communication, like it's time to get to the truth. It's time to get to the heart of the matter is what I keep hearing. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, what other messages are um, in 
Interesting. Okay, you guys got the Page of Wands, and it's actually falling in the exact same position that it did for um, air signs. You may be dealing with an air sign, which would make sense with this swords, but um, the Page of Wands. Okay, for you guys with this card, there is a um, energy here of um, unexpected joy, like spontaneity. Um, there's some sort of like spontaneity happening here coming in or like a spontaneous spontaneous message or spontaneous news um spont spontaneous or spontaneity is really coming through very strongly with me when i'm looking at this card for um you guys um uh it's time to not do things the same old way something new something fresh like something fresh is coming in uh for you guys and it's a relief like you're kind of relieved it's like yeah you need it it's like you want that so um okay what other messages Wow, this has come up in almost every, in everyone's reading except for earth signs. Um, okay, seven of wands. Oh man, you feel like you're in battle, water signs. I don't know who you're communicating with, but um, you got to stand your ground. You got to stand your ground. But take the higher road is what I heard um, with the crown chakra coming in. Like you have a sense of knowing here in this situation that um, is beneficial to you and the other person. If this is, re if this is um, regarding someone else, I feel it is because it's strongly about communication. Um, for some of you, though, that it isn't, you are battling your own demons right now your own demons that are preventing you from seeing the truth. Like it's almost like, um, and you know, to be honest, the, in the pre-shuffle, the devil card in reverse came through. And I got this sense of like, there's this release of some sort of like obsession or addiction or, and, and I don't say that in a sense of like, I don't feel like it's necessarily like drugs or alcohol or something like this, but some sort of like addiction to a, um, or obsession of a way of being or like a reality. Um, like it's like you're letting that go and it's allowing you to expand like this energy expansion. So there's um, a battle here of sorts that for some of you, I feel like it's involving like external people. Um, and for, and for some of you um, it's your own inner like shadows like you're standing up against, like you're saying like enough. It's again, it's like that I'm tired. I'm done with the bullshit. Like I'm tired. I want the truth. It's I keep hearing that. Um, and for some of you, it's actually both. For some of you, you are dealing with someone and you're dealing with your own like um, inner shadows. And, but it's because there's, um, you're going through a spiritual evolution here with this crown chakra. Like you're really becoming, there's a lot of wisdom coming in. There's a lot of insight coming in through this experience. Okay, beautiful. Okay, you've got the King of Cups. This is you guys, okay? King of Cups, this is all about understanding how to nurture the situation, how to guide this, be the leader from a place of love, be the leader from a place of compassion, um, being empathic to the situation. This is one of your gifts. This is why, um, this is the energy that you're really kind of um, pulling into this uh, whole two weeks of May. Um, this is gonna be very beneficial. Okay, this wants to go right under this card. Your communication is coming from the heart. It, it, it's very important that you, um, this is also the King of Cups is very intuitive, very empathic. You're tuning into the, you're tuning into the messages that you need to hear because some of you are, I, I, some of you are channeling. 
it's it, it, some of you are channeling some stuff um and but some of you this is just for communication with others and um i'm feeling like you kind of are having to be the grown-up in a way like and i and i say i don't mean that in any by way of putting the other person down but just that i'm really feeling you're coming from a place of a little bit of higher understanding um wow Woo. okay we got three cards okay you guys have um the moon so piscean energy here um so for many of you this is about going into the deeper subconsciousness uh the, the subconscious um layers um and you're kind of going in full force that's why the waterfall here it's like it's it's, it's not holding back it's not like this kind of light downstream effect like it's like like it's all like going into the deep depths and like you're just kind of jumping in head first um or you're it's you're experiencing it as feeling that way um and there is a um you're also feeling like you're under a magnifying glass or the situation right now is 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 under a magnifying glass like things are so you're uh, like hyper aware of everything like um and and it's you know with the moon here too like i'm getting a sense of like there's a level of uncertainty like it's hard because this is like a new way for you even though like there's a lot of guidance here and you do have i really do feel like you have like the higher ground here in a sense of like what you're moving through there is still a level of uncertainty um, or confusion um like not everything is fully uh you're fully clear on like some things there's clarity on but others like i heard wishy-washy um yeah okay then we have oh wow we got two twos okay we have the two of cups and the two of coins okay so beautiful wow uh-huh -huh. so you're working in union here for some of you you're really working in divine union with someone else um for others this communication thing is going to bring you into union um with someone else and for others this is union of you through um the higher learning of of you like you're bringing it's like oh you're bringing all of your aspects together like there's a union of truth there's a union of truth happening here for you um and this two of coins is all about like let me just put this card down for a second here. So I'm getting this um, with this card in particular for um, some of you with this um, this two of coins. There's a um, when I'm looking at this card, I'm getting the sense that you are bringing two forces together. Like you've been kind of balancing ones, but like it's like this kind of juggling act, but now it's more of like you're raising them up together like you're almost like when i see this card i know the two of coins is all about bringing balance in it's um it's about juggling but um there is a very deep spiritual nature to this whatever's going on for you guys um and it's like i'm just getting a very strong sense of power 
of um, mastery. When I look at this card, I, I'm just going to tell you guys I'm feeling because it's coming through and I know it's not to do with this card, but um, the, the way that he's kind of putting his hands up to the sky, it's like you're levitating something, like you're levitating the whole situation. Oh, you're bringing all of the things up to the surface and above, like so that they're in plain view, so that you can see everything for what it is. Everything for what it is. Nothing is being hidden anymore. And you see this, um, I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer. Do you see this golden um, sphere that has um, this beautiful, delicate, um, design through it. It's like through you bringing this, um, the rising of the, the, um, bringing everything to the surface and above so that it can be seen and there's nothing hidden. There's a level of this golden, um, It's like that Christ consciousness energy is, is, is being pulled up from deep within you and being allowed to shine through. It's a very beautiful and divine process that you guys are going through, whoever this um, is resonating with. It's very divine. It's a very high spiritual nature. Um, okay, let's just see if we can get one more card here for water signs. I mean, you have two twos here, two twos and two sevens, twos and sevens. And there's a seven on the crown chakra. Interesting. Three sevens, two twos. Ah, oh. and your final card. Look at that. The star, the star. So much healing is coming in for you guys through this process. There is a lot of healing going on. There is a lot of, um, there is a lot of emotions being stirred up through this process to be healed. For, for many of you, um, this process is about, um, is about bringing forth a wish uh, that you've wished for for a very, very, very long time. Very long time, like beyond this lifetime. There is a wish that gets fulfilled through this process. Um, oh, for some of you, I heard you're, you're receiving your crown. You're receiving your, your crown of divinity through this process. That's beautiful. Oh my God, that makes me want to cry. Oh my God, I... Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh gosh, whoever this reading is for, um, this, is, this is very powerful for you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm just... Um, Someone has been waiting a very long time for this, and I'm feeling that. Oh. Your, um, your wish is coming true. Um, this, is, this is lifetimes you've been waiting for this. Oh, gosh. That's so powerful. Wow. Gosh, empathy. <laughs> it uh, really, it's no joke sometimes. Okay, we've got, oh, two cards came out already. Um, okay, we have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Yeah, like there, there is a whole upgrade happening in an energetic um, way. Like there's something completely new. Like um, it's like this idea of the magic coming in and the awakening is beautiful with the crown, um, the crown chakra. Um, and then, oh, uh, we have play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. And I feel like that's a page of wands. It's kind of correlating to the page of wands energy. Um, 
um, in a sense of it's important for you during this time because there is so much healing coming in and there is a lot of union happening here, like merging of something, merging of you, like, and release, there's so much release here and merging. You got to have some fun. Um, there's got to be some elements of play here for, um, you water signs. It's very important in this process so that you don't take this whole thing too seriously, because if you do, it's going to feel very, um, heavy. It's going to feel a bit too much because you do have, you are feeling like you are in battle here. Um, and there's some, there's some sort of like communication thing that's happening. That's kind of could be wearing you down a little bit. Um, or the whole process of going into the subconscious is wearing you down. So you got to have some, some play at this, at this time. So, oh gosh, I don't know who that was for. Um, but, oh, that's amazing. It's just, oh, it's powerful. So powerful. Okay. Um, water signs. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful first beginning of May. I will be back with you soon.